another day and another month and so we're going to be looking at your tarot here for october now i'm not going to steal too much of your time here up front just wanting to mention that i have a new edition at the very end of the video i've added a meditation for you and i've picked the card the high priestess so putting in keywords for her what she represents, background music, additional time for you with music so you can sit and meditate what comes through your channel when you meditate upon her. So listen to the end, get that with you. And I also want to address why I don't do live videos on the Tarot. Just letting you know that when I do the Tarot, I go into a flow, all right? I don't stop and pick out cards and explain the cards. Now, I do that in teaching scenarios, and I just want to give you a little heads up that I am working here on Tarot Course that will soon be available to you if you are one of those that are ready now to expand your mind, expand your consciousness, grow with the Tarot. I will be happy to teach you easy steps of how you can learn the cards. More on that will come later when it's all ready. Just sign up for the newsletter so that you can be updated upon that. The easiest way to get to the website to sign up is up here to the right hand corner. You'll see the little information button when you hover over it with your mouse and it'll take you straight to the site. So Capricorn, we're looking at October and uh, yes, this is a month. If you were doing what you needed to do in September, uh, then I feel that you're opening up the month here with a, a sense of being able to put something behind you, um, the, eradicating something. And it's something that you want to let go of, okay? So you're still empowered, you're strong. This is a conscious decision it will actually just liberate you. So I'm thinking that that is all good. Um, behind that, as you're letting go, I'm also seeing how you're starting new. <laughs> so uh, because it looks like you have all your ducks in a row and uh, all that's lagging right now is for you to take a specific action at some point this month to initiate whatever that new may be. But there's a sense of celebration taking place here uh, as we start off the month, so it's all good. You're you're where you need to be, should I say. Now, you and your partner are making some kind of commitment this month, and this commitment, it, there's this beautiful rainbow between you and your partner's uh, spirit and heart, and I'm feeling that you're, you're opening up to new and, should I say, maybe higher levels of interaction. Now, if you're single and you don't have a partner, I got to address you too. Then I would say either you could come to meet somebody this month, or it would be somebody that's close to you, maybe a partner that you work with, whatever the deal is, there's a person coming in for you too. But in this, I'd like to say too, that the values is what is really coming up to the forefront. I'm seeing how there, there is this flow of feeling having come thus far. And now, where do we go from here? What do we want to do? What do we want to add to that foundation that we've built to this point? And so in this, I'm seeing you're, you're carrying a lot of strength. You're feeling extremely empowered. You're excited because why? Well, there's new beginnings. There's a whole new, should I say, territory, new horizons coming for you. And some of this might even just tie into the past, Capricorn, one way or another. Why? Because it's like the past has laid a certain type of foundation, which you now can start growing, should I say, new wings for flying towards these new horizons. Pay attention to your dreams, nocturnal dreams. Well, not saying daydreams. You can do that too, because we do that in between throughout the day. But I'm feeling there is so much spiritual guidance being shown to you as you are dreaming, like messages coming through. It would be a great time for you to actually start a journal and uh, write down what's taking place for you at this time. Why? Because as you're in this new cycle, well, there's so much that can happen within uh, a relative short period of time that down the road, well, then it, it becomes forgotten. And I think that due to what I'm seeing here is that 
you know, in a few months, in a few years ahead and you look back, you will be very happy that you did keep a dream journal. Now, there's a, a sense of victory. Now, this has to do with money in the home base or from a family member, perhaps as well. Um, and, and I see how it's securing that base. So if you have been expecting or anticipating some money, that should be coming here now this month for you. And it allows you to actually open up a couple of uh, new doors towards that of which you have been hmm, longing for. Or uh, maybe something you've been earmarking that you would love to have extra funds to go towards. And uh, whatever that may be for you individually, I see that it's going to hit home because it's going to balance up those things where you're feeling that it's valuable to you. And for others, it's more like I see where you're thinking, ah, oh, now, finally, finally, something is surfacing that is concrete. It is tangible. It is you now moving into a space and in a time where you can actually start doing something. So if you feel that your life has been a little bit on the, I won't say slow side, because you have still been doing what you could do. You've been controlling what you could control. But there's always those elements from time to time where we can't really do much to influence outer circumstances. And it feels like that might have been slow. But now it looks like you can start taking action. You can build upon those qualities. And uh, because I'm seeing you here feeling crowned spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and down to the physical level. So you're turning away from those things that were slow or really didn't work or where you might have felt like you've been dangling in the middle of nowhere. Well, not for long because action. And this action is turning things around as far as your, uh, should I say, reaching for those higher dimensions. Spiritually, this is going to be affecting you as well. And I feel there's something now that's going to turn around like a new perspective, perhaps, opening up for you. In that perspective, there is a pipeline, a download of information once again coming to you. So it's not just your nocturnal dreams. This is also the inspiration that you can be receiving from above. And what it's going to do? Well, it's going to start setting you free from what? Setting you free from being in the middle of nowhere and uh, being feeling more empowered. And then there's news. This month, this news is coming here. I feel it's going to affect both the career, but also the home. Now, when I say that, it's showing up here as it like a double whammy. Maybe it could be the way your career is opening up or changing upon you will on some level have a direct effect upon the home front. So it could be that. But uh, I'm seeing that what it's doing, it's actually shooting you off here uh, with tons of energy. It's going to be a busy month socially. Uh, so watch out so you don't burn your candle both ends just because it's like you are the it person this month here, Capricorn, and where people are wanting to reach out for you and be social. And that is always very, very joyful. But then again, I'm seeing just to wrap up your reading here. Uh, towards the end, it's a time for you here, focusing on value. We're not talking money. It could be that too. We, we've touched upon money in your reading this month, but it's more of those things that you value. Okay. What is it you want? Um, it, it's, it's really for you to reach for it. Don't hold back. Uh, you have had a few months where things have been slow, but as you're initiating this new energy, it's really time for you to start expressing it to your surroundings, what it is you're looking for, what the outcome is that you do want. So don't hold back, be verbal about it, and then take the action behind it and just watch how things are going to come together here for you. I feel it's a time of tremendous growth that's going to take place for you. And uh, not just this month, but in the oncoming months, this is leading up to a beginning that can take place over a uh, long term. And um, yeah, so listen, I am sending you straight off to the meditation for this month. 
And if you're liking this edition, I'd truly appreciate it if you can click thumbs up or click the like button. It gives me a little feedback of what you enjoy. I'm always looking for new ways to expand things and your entertainment, okay? Journey on your journey with the high priest, the high priest. destiny will be revealed here. The High Priestess is your higher self, your guardian angel, from the dimensions up above, guiding you, leading you. Tune in to your higher self. This is a time of revelation. It is a time where you will connect and reconnect connect, connect, connect to the past, revealing the now, revealing the now, revealing the now. opening towards the future. Towards the future. Priestess shows up up. up. when it's time to listen to the end.